Okay, YouTubers, here we go again. Another project of the day this afternoon. We are going to finally change the lights on the uh, little tilt trailer I got. We're going to go away, get away from this uh, four flat plug, and uh, we're going to go to a the seven round, the plug that goes in. Now it's dark. That style. The plug that's on everything anymore. And we're going to change this wiring and everything because I just this just drives me nuts seeing stuff like this. You can see that. But just the way, you know, zip ties everywhere. Zip ties, wire ties. And just wires running, laying loose. I'd much prefer to have these wires in a loom and have them all fixed up nice and neat. I know it's doesn't have you know unless this here just drives me nuts too. But uh, eh, you can look at the other side of the trailer. What you want to see? But anyway, in addition to oops, sorry to get too loud, but anyway, in addition to going changing the wiring out and getting rid of this wire nut stuff like we got there I'm gonna put uh, different stock connectors there probably shrink tube tube them so they're sealed tight and nice get rid of these lights here finally gonna put these LED lights in I know but hey what better I got to do while I'm in this so-called Corona 19, uh, coronavirus 19 self-quarantine stuff, um, you know, so I may as well make myself busy and do some stuff around the place, do something in my shop, um, yeah, get rid of that light there too, and, uh, see what we can do from there, but, uh, yeah, so uh, uh, for those of you that do not know on the wiring, uh, the brown wire is your tail light. That's your tail light that comes on left and right sides. The yellow is your left turn light, brake light. And then over here on this side, even in these different butt splices. Okay, your brown light on the right side, of course, is again your tail light. Come look at your headlights and all that. And then the green light, or the green wire, light, I'm thinking. The green wire is, of course, your right turn light, brake light. But anyway, I'm going to try neaten this mess up. Now what I'm going to do actually is, here's my plan of attack for this. I'm going to fix this dang hole here. But the plan is to ha come from here and have a pigtail to go to the truck, whatever truck or whatever I'm hooking on to for power. And it's going to come through here in a loom. Come through here and everything is going to run down this left side of my trailer I'll probably utilize those holes right there I may drill them out a little bigger utilize them holes or make new ones over here somewhere but put them all in a loom so they're nice and tight then have it come out have my wires go over here for the left light and I'll probably also while I'm at it the guy that had this chair, he, you know, these things always come with a light, light at the bottom for your plate hanging below. But this being a tilt trailer, the plate's going to get mashed, and I can't have that. So we'll leave the trailer light up. Yep, yeah, yeah, I can talk. We'll leave the license plate up where it's at. And I've got an LED light that I may put right here. I don't know if that sees or not, but. 
made to drill it right into this plastic plate holder. So it puts light up on the thing instead of doing what that guy done. And it's creative, cheap. You know, just cut a hole in the cover and there you go. But that's another little thing that just kind of drives me goofy. And we will see what we come up with here. So that being said, uh, if you want, hang around. If not, well, okay. But I'll give you a stepish thing where I do something and go, here it is, as always. And we'll go from there. So hang around, give me a few sec, give me a little bit, and I'll put you up there clip in with this, and we'll go from there. So hang on. And there we go. There's part of the steps of the process done. All the old crap, the old lights, the old wiring have been removed. Um, you know, the lighting off of here, all that wiring tore out of here. That light fixture is gone. All the wiring that was down the frame on both sides, that's all been removed. That's all been removed all the way up to here. All right, now with that being done, yeah, there's all the wire. I have to use a little bit of that for uh, splicing for a few other things, but anyway. So, that being said, we're that far along, uh, and we'll go from there. Give me a few minutes to uh, open up my package of what all come with the new lights. I'll lay it out and let you see what it is. And then we'll join the next fun part of. Uh, See if we need to turn on more need to we need to drill that hole out bigger for the uh, uh, wire loom to run through. Probably that hole. Have to probably open all these holes up a little bit. And then probably have to open up these three across here so that loom can go through and then come back and go back and and step there on that. Otherwise I've got another idea, but eh, I may do the I may do the loom thing, or do, use them holes. And all they done was just took the welder and just probably blew a hole with the welder through there, maybe. They might use a little torch, but I don't know. Don't know what that exact process is. But anyway, uh, yeah, there's our minute and a half, two minutes shot in the butt. So, uh, yeah, just hang on, keep coming back. I'll show you some more. Okay, here's what comes in that wiring, in that lighting kit. You got your new wiring, everything from your vehicle going to wire up all the way back to your lights. Of course you got a, well it's much more on the camera, but yes there is a wiring diagram there telling you what goes where. Well, I was already telling you earlier anyway. Anyway, instead of a four flat, you have a five flat because of the backup lights right here. Uh, so you need the extra light for that. It comes with two lights. They are a universal mount type deal. By that, you can mount them here, or you can mount them here on the side. You know, so you can mount either way. We're going to use these holes, these slots here, with the supplied carriage type bolt head deal. Anyway, then fix them up nice and neat. Got a bag of parts. Fuel carriage bolts, we got wire nuts, then junky splices I don't like to use that well. Little clips for holding the wire going down the frame. But I'm not going to use those. I'm just going to use probably the bolts out of that and then I'll uh, I'll put different ends on those on those wires. But you also get a new license plate bracket that will mount on that's back supposed to go here, because you there's your light for your uh, license plate but I don't mine's gonna go up there like that because it is a tilt trailer and I have purchased another light that I'm, I'm gonna end up mounting probably on well you don't see it there I'll mount that on that license plate bracket and get me some light up on the license plate keep the cops police happy uh, but instead of using this uh, four flat, five flat connector that they supply, I'm going to use this old 
seven pin connector and uh, I'll just take the old wiring off it and wire up accordingly so we got that I've got some half inch wire loom to come that will go from this plug back as far it will go about 10 feet back and then I got some more of that over in the cabinet I'll have to make sure but then I got some 3 8 I'll use it to go across the trailer and, and go from left light to right light and yes I got more wire ties zip ties um, to secure if I needed need or whatever but anyway there's kind of how it is. Uh, so anyway, hang on, give me a few minutes, and I'll see what else I can do next. Get back to the MPU. Okay, guys, here we go. All right, what I've done now, I've uh, actually cut. Probably look for more wire. Cut the five-pin plug off. I'm gonna save this. Just, you know, hell, that might work for something else. Maybe not this light particular, but you know, if I have something where I need a quick plug, I'll save it to work for it. Matter of fact, just start a jump drawer on the new, new workbench. Good place to catch it. All right. So anyway, I've got this plug set up to where I now have my left and right. Oops, put my picky. Left and right, and then this plug right here is supposed to be the backup lights on Chevrolet. It's a pin right there. So I got the blue wire hooked to it. The blue wire is my backup light. And of course you know the other wires. Yellow left, brown running, and green's the right turn break. But anyway, uh, you notice my wires, I actually kind of like to take some silver solder. So it's coming with the solder now. But anyway, a little bit of solder on kind of keep them, protect them ends a little bit. So it's not just individual wires, um, and then I'll probably put crimp ends on them. And then once I get, you know, probably be something like those spade lugs there. Matter, not these. Maybe these red ones. Where are they? Those blue ones right there. I like to do these. I'll probably take and put those together, and then I'll take a piece of shrink tubing and shrink over them and seal it up weather tight. And that way, hopefully, it won't corrode or whatever and go from there. But anyway, uh, that's kind of my game plan, what I want to try to do. Uh, we'll see how it turns out for me, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and do that and see what we come up with, and uh, just go from there. Um, hopefully, you guys are okay watching so far, but if not, well, okay. So anyway, there's a couple more minutes of blabbering, jabbering, whatever. But uh, yeah, I'll stop back and give you another show of hey, here's what I done. So uh, hang in there. Be right back. Okay, we're still working on this thing. Um, actually, on day two, I had other things come up. That's that's other things. Um, you guys concern yourself with worry about whatever. But anyway, here we go. Um, what are we? Yeah, we're April second, two thousand twenty. Still working on the trailer lights. Uh, as you can tell, yep, I've got my cord here for the hook up to the truck and yes I've made that a little bit long I do that on purpose that way if I jackknife one way or the other because this plug's going to the left side of the license plate on the truck so if I jackknife around cutting to the right I don't pull the plug out of the uh, out of the truck or off the trailer so much at least that's my thought right or wrong yeah go from there but anyway um yeah I have a uh, because of how I want to do this, running the wire loom through this, it's like a chain loop, and then I'll try to come through this hole, and then go to this hole, and then on down. I'm have, I don't have a drill bit quite big enough 
to allow for a half inch uh, split conduit to pass through. So I have resulted to using a die grinder and a reaming tool. Um, yes, it is a little loud. Um, and the other problem is, uh, younger viewers, close your ears, but it uh, makes you look like you've been uh, motorboating at a gentleman's club with a uh, female individual. Uh, I'll keep that clean instead of doing it so vulgar. But anyway, uh, yeah, what I've done so far is I've gone through and reamed this hole out and this hole and this hole so now I can fish my uh, wire loom for the tail lights from left to right and then I got a couple more holes ream out a little bit bigger and then I can start passing the wiring through and then um, where the wiring is going to lay at in these holes I will put uh, uh, a couple rounds of black electrical tape on there at least uh, to uh, help protect them a little bit from this steel. Uh, another thing I may do will be um, put wire ties at least on the thing either side of it to help hold it so it stays you know fairly uh, tight so to speak so it stays up and a little ch lesser chance of it getting caught on anything when you, nowhere where you're driving off to. I know it's primarily a highway type trailer, road trailer, but you know how you know how the farmers get the hobbyists and all that. We find something out in the middle of pasture or woods, we want to go get it. We drive out to go get it, and the next thing you know, you ripped your wiring off on a tree stump or big heavy uh, weed or whatever. You know, something with a big big heavy stem, maybe the size of your thumb or whatever, but anyway, that's where I'm at today. I'm fixing holes and getting ready to run wire, so hang on, we'll be back and give you a little more. Okay, here's kind of what I'm talking about, people, YouTubers, with this uh, whole idea of, uh, if I can hold my phone and camera at the same time for the light, but right here, you know, I've got this half inch conduit or you know seal type you know, wire loom. Let me just figure it out. I have black tape wrapped around it to kind of protect it going through the steel here. And I've got a wire tie here. Actually, got two wire ties on it to kind of help hold it. Two on this side, and then two on this side to kind of hold that so it doesn't go nowhere. Now, as you can tell, I've got this stretch. From here and then from here to the tongue, I've got that pulled, you know, kind of snug. A little bit, a little bit of play there, but a little bit tug. And I'm gonna leave this here, just a little bit of slack in this, just because this is a tilt bed trailer. Just if there's any slight uh, tension, be might be pulled on it from the bed going up. But one thing I wanted to mention here, um. I remember back when I worked in a truck shop years ago, I'm talking 30 years, yeah, th good 30 years ago, almost 35, and I was told to put, you know, use wire ties and hold this thing, put this thing up out on this truck I was working on. I left all these tails on here after I was done. That me main mechanic, lead mechanic I was working with, he looked at it and he said, give that thing a haircut. I'm like, huh, what are you talking about? He said, cut those dang ends off. Make it look neat. So, ever since, wherever I go, I snip them dang things off, make it look neat. And all these years I've worked in the factories that I've had to work in, and I get to work with guys, and I see them do the same thing. They just put the zip tie on, wire tie on, what you want to call it, and they'll leave it like that. Leave that tail on there. I'll look at them and go, you might think a haircut. Make your jobs look nice and neat. Um, but there's a little, I know, that's a little over the top for me, but, um, you know, that's just how I am, a little particular some days. Now this here I will take and uh, put.
put this loom inside this loom and then tape it up. Probably put a couple of wire ties on it and hold the tape on there real good. Then I'll finish stretching out and going along. But just thought I'd give you that uh, little little tidbit of uh, into my method of madness on doing things. Uh, but hang on, we'll go a little more in a little bit. And there you go, YouTubers. Just so there is proof that every once in a while I do stuff and it does work. There's your running light on the uh, on the uh, yeah tail lights for the trailer. Uh, I'm a little concerned about this wire looping down too far and catching, so I put a little wire grommet deal to help hold it up on both sides. And it'd be nice to have had that light up here, but on the license plate, but I got a little light for that to keep the police happy and everybody, and then I was afraid I held it too much slack here you can see that so I put another grommet deal to grab hold that there and one over here to hold this wire up also just trying to keep it so it doesn't get caught but now as you can tell uh, yeah, got my Kind of wish it might have made, should have made that a little bit longer, but I think that'll be just fine for what I'm going to be doing, going turning left and right. Uh, ground it here with the jack, stand hardware. Uh, you know, shrink tubed it, stripped it, soldered it. All in, all my fittings or you know, electrical connections, like for this ground wire, and then um, on the lights also. Uh, I didn't just crimp those connectors there. I actually went and uh, I actually put the uh, um, crimped them, then I soldered over them, and then put them in the put in the other. But and there's the hazard working, so I should have brake and turns. Now the backup, I can't, I'm not, probably not going to show you that, because that's, that's, uh, I'm just not comfortable being in front of the dang camera for, but, um, yeah, everything works, everything works, everything's hooked up, so on that note, I will, uh, um, in this video se section and uh, there again hopefully if you're new to wiring trailers or whatever hopefully you find the information through there in helpful um, on what those wires what wire goes to what light and what each wire does and uh, you know going from a four four flat or Five flat to a seven round or six round, that's no problem. It's, you know, the schematics are out there. Even the when they come with a brand new, it probably tells you which which is which. But uh, anyway, so yeah, one more little project down the trailer. I think I'm done with it for a while. I still got to find a set of rims for it. Uh, we ever get off this uh, self quarantine? whatever your state calls it for this COVID-19 virus stuff um, you know once I get back to work I recover some lost finances and I'll start looking for rims but right now those rims are just fine it's on it the tires are like brand new so um, we'll just go from there so anyway uh, please hit the subscribe button over here uh, I know I do that every time now point to that dang button to use, but anyway, please subscribe, those that you have subscribed, thank you, I appreciate it, uh, for all of you, please comment, rate, and subscribe, uh, if you hadn't, and uh, as my tagline has been, and several of you have proved lately, hey, stay safe, take care.